Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Tech It. So I have decided after the success of the previous episode, uh, farm production, I have added some of those phased transport pipes to the network. So I now have a network of these bad boys for transporting things around a bit more efficiently. That is connected my farm to the cows, which should then dump some wheat and some... Ow! <laughs> Dump some wheat and my uh, carrots for the pigs and the cows. But I've decided to dump my inventory for this episode into this chest just temporarily. And I think the focus for this episode needs to be on making some power armor. So we need to make all of these bad boy bits and bobs. So we just need to start with the uh, with the tinker table. So we need some electrum, a transmission coil, and an emerald. I think we should be able to make all of that. Electrum. Transmission coil, one electrum, that's not good. I've got 13 emeralds after my trading with the villagers. Hopefully I've got some electrum in here. Electrum, good. Was it, wasn't it? Yep, I'll do. So the power armor should then protect me much more effectively from everything that goes on in the world. Tinker table. I don't think this needs power. Now, I kind of want to put it nearby so I can get to all of my supplies while I'm building it. I do need to go through the process of putting down some... putting down some glowstone blocks to make it a bit nicer. Um, I suppose we can just move it again. So let's put it here for now. And we'll move it if we need it. So... Oops. We need to make so the next thing we need to do then is make some modular power suit items. So I've currently got normal iron armor with a bit of protection on it, but we need to start with a new headset. We need to make some wiring, which is silver, copper, copper. So plenty of copper. Let's grab 64 of this. Hopefully, I'll put some silver on in preparation. There we go, 38 silver. A few extra copper as well. So I don't need that much wiring, I don't think. I think the wiring is mostly as part of the... the part of the actual components. Oh, you got quite a lot of wire, so let's get 64 wire. Shouldn't need that much, should I? Let me pick that up. Let's dump this back in here as we go. I actually check what the rest of it was. Was it tin? Iron. Not as easy as that, is it? Let's see if we can get away with all this then. Done the helmet. And the leggings. Done the shoot, and I think I even I even know what the boots are. The boots worked out for myself. So now we have all of the power suit. Here's the ticking table, and now tells us what we can do. You highlight it, click it, and then you've got all of these upgrades that you can add. So we could add binoculars. We could add night vision. That sounds pretty cool. Don't really need that one. When you run out of air, this modular will jolt the water around you, electrolyzing a small bubble to breathe from. Ah, brilliant. Whenever you're hungry, this modular will grab the bottom leftmost food item from your inventory and feed it to you, storing the rest for later. That sounds pretty good. Radiation poisoning, I don't think I need I need that one. Airtight seal, hostile atmosphere, venting. Oh, that's that's going to be quite useful when we get our space rocket sorted out. Do you turn solar power into <laughs> elite battery? Requires a HV capacitor. So we're going to need to start building some of these upgrades. Diamond plating, energy shield. Are much lighter than plating, but consume energy. A thick layer of plating to soak up heat. 
I'm guessing that one's what you do to jump into lava. Sprint assist, jump assist, swim boost, and uphill step assist. Jetpack, glider, and parachute. Active camouflage. <laughs> Emit a hologram of your surroundings to make yourself see. <laughs> wow. There is a lot of... Uh, a lot of things that needed. Press shift for more information. For using team, some carefully arranged armor plates for a rare and stronger material. So I'm guessing we need to make some diamond, uh, sorry, some advanced plating. Shock absorber and jet boots. So we need to make some armor plating and we need to make some batteries. So HV capacitor or MV capacitor. So let's have a look at what these require as far as making. So the medium volt capacitor is just an energy conduit which is empty and some wiring. That's unbelievably easy. I'm guessing our high voltage one would be better. That's an energy cell frame full of redstone. Actually, that's, that's quite easy, isn't it? What's that made of? Hardened glass, electrum, and a diamond. So let's go all out. Hardened glass, electrum, and a diamond. Let's grab the rest of my electrum from over here. So that requires an energy frame. I should now be able to make. Energy frame requires the redstone. Just jog over here. Throw that in there for a minute. What's this uh, advanced plating require? Ooh, an invar gear, and that's a lot of diamonds. Invar ingot around an iron ingot. What the hell's an invar ingot? Invar blend. Which is iron and ferro. Ah, oh, that's what... I'm, no, to be fair, I did research this a little bit and I remember... It's been a few episodes since I looked into it, but I remember what I'd done and why I'd done it now. So in here, we should have some pulverized iron and some pulverized ferrous. And then... Put that in that. And that together gets you Invar Blend. That's a lot more than I probably needed. Put the Invar Blend into there. And that'll give us some Invar Ingots. I've not got very many diamonds. I mean, right, other than checking the quarry, I don't know how many diamonds I've got. 13 more in here. So we can, can make this. I don't think... I'm fairly confident diamond plating doesn't damage, so therefore we can go for wait for the one more so we can get two two diamond plates for now. We've already got the iron. count. Ah, I mean, how did that? So now we go to our tinker table and we go to our chest plate, go to our diamond armor, and click install. Right, one meter? 963 meters? What? Adds a kilogram. Go to the legs and select diamond plating, click install. So I can control how thick it is. I'm guessing it increases how much protection it offers. But when I wear it, I'm guessing it's going to slow me down massively. I'm assuming I can counteract all of this to find a nice balance. Put them both on two meters, make both make them two kilograms. No, so I need to make a battery, which is what I was doing, wasn't it? So I can make the battery now. That 
do. So we can put the battery into there. Oh my god, that battery gets quicker. Two million Minecraft jewels. 2.3 million, 2.5 million. 2.01 million. That's fine. So how do I charge it though? That's the big question I've got. How do I charge it? Is there a... Charging table? Laser drill? Energy cell? Fire charge? Um... Battery upgrade, power relay, tinker table, logistics junction, powered furnace. Mm. No indication on here about how I charge. Charge up my power suit. Pretty sure there isn't a box to put it in, is there? How the hell do you charge a power suit then? That's exciting. Let's have a look at some more upgrades. Let's go with the legs. Let's get some, some movement. Set a servo to help you sprint and walk faster. So we're going to need that. So servo motors. Oops. Let's have a look for our servo motors, see what we can do. So a servo motor is solenoids and servos. A solenoid is iron, glass and redstone, that's easy enough. And though, okay, so that's iron and wiring. We need four, don't we? We need much more iron than that. I hope I've thrown some in here. Only 64. We've got more in here. No, that's tin. 32, 64, there we go. Let's throw some iron ore in there. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is two of them. So we need... We need six more. We haven't made enough of this wire. Oops. Annoying. Need some glass. Just over the chest here, wasn't I? Grab some redstone. Double check what that is. One, two, three, four. Four of them needed. Which means we can now build this. Apparently, we're going to build three, though. What have I done wrong? I ran out of wire. My mistake, it's silver, isn't it? Because the one thing I know about wiring around my house is that the copper wire is surrounded by all of. Sorry, this got the silver. The wiring in my house is made up with all this silver. The walking assist. Make it like 130%, 140%, 150%. Oh, this is all going to require tinkering with to get the right the right percentages, I imagine. I'll be walking too quickly, walking too fast. Compensation. Or oh, consumption. It says compensation. Oh, I see how long I can sprint for. I don't know. The 
Mob Repulsor pushes mobs away from you when activated, but continuously drains power. Cools down any heat producing. Jetpack. Night vision is going to be cool. Shock Absorber sounds good. Negate a portion of the full damage. Needs to add some armor plates as well. But I'm assuming though, if I put this armor on now. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I froze the game. Looks like I broke Minecraft. Ha! <laughs> Excellent. Rendering entity in the world. Error report has been saved. Well then. That brings an end to this particular session. I will be back in a moment. I will stop the recording and see what happens. Radio guys, well, thanks for waiting, <laughs> obviously briefly, but um, I've managed to load back in and nothing seems untoward. Uh, I've managed to put the rest of my armor on and I now look like a fucking beast, but um, I don't really know what caused the crash, to be fair. It's not something that I'm 100% uh, sure on, but it seems to be working fine. We haven't lost anything. So we need to, uh, to put together a few bits and bobs as well. Let's go with some jet boots. They require ion thrusters. Okay. So let's continue setting this up. Get ourselves sorted, get ourselves uh, set up. Let's have a look what an ion thruster requires. It's probably a better plan than trying to build one straight away. Spot the ion thruster, there it is. So that requires force field emitters and invar ingots and glowstone. A force field emitter is an un. What the flip? Unattuned tesseract, which is. Resonant Ender into a Tesseract frame. Right, so I'm not building that then. I need to get a lot more set up before I'm going to have any Resonant Ender kicking around. Uh, ender pulls aren't too bad, you can make Ender pulls out of iron, so that's not a massive pain in the ass. it's just I don't have uh, anything set up for that. So we've got armor, armor, no armor, and no armor. Shock absorber, wool, and servo. We've made a lot of servos, haven't we? So we can make some servos for shock absorber, I guess. It means we can fall a bit further. We'll do that. Uh, quickly remind myself what the servo is. It was on that a minute ago, wasn't it? So servo, we need some of this. Have I got all of that in my inventory? I think I have. four of those in case we need them. Don't just throw things on the floor in a heap. Some of these. Only make one of them. So silver is the problem. Got some silver. Some iron, that's fine. Missing copper. Oh well, can't win them all, can you? Can't win some, win some, lose some, etc. So let's speed this process up by using the shift click. Not well, might as well make 24. So we need some more of these. I need two servos, don't I? Let's make four of them. That's fine. That brings me everything I need now. Correct. Two of them, spotty dog. And some wool. Must have some wool in here, I think. Yep, I'll do. Lovely jubbly. So let's go for 25%, shall we? Particularly accurate, that's what we can do. Cool. Uh, uh, I have anything high to fall off, do I? Oh well. Oh, hello spider. Provided me with some interest. Although, apparently, I don't have very much armor from my armor with diamond plates. So, I have to put some more diamond plates together, aren't we? So, I've got some iron. 
I did some brew some in, uh, invar up, didn't I? Invar, I'll do. So iron surrounded by invar. Oops. Should, if I done it correctly, give me my invar ingot and a hundred thousand. Oh, I fucking clicked the wrong button, didn't I? Brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted to do was make all of these bloody invar ingots nuggets. Exceptional. There we go. So two of these surrounded by these gives me two of these which means I can at least then put the diamond plates in okay so that has upped my armor a little bit I'm guessing then if I up the armor to like maximum, it ups the protection down below. It does. It's exactly doing what I thought it would do. Fully ups myself. Let's see how slow I move. Oh, it's barely noticeable. So clearly my legs counteract the weight. It just uses more power. Now between booting it back up and not booting it back up, I did look at how we charge this up. Something to do with an energetic, in energetic infuser. I need two transmission coils, one reception coil, two copper ingots, a machine frame, and a shiny ingot. Now I have a shiny ingot. I have a few because I found some nether platinum. There we go. A nether platinum ore apparently. Oops. Gives me everything I needed. So I need one of them. One of them. Two of them. Got some copper. Apparently can't click. So machine frame, two transmission coils, one reception coil, two of them, and then a shiny ingot gives me an energetic infuser. And so if I take advantage of some space somewhere, uh, I'm trying to work out what the best place for this is. I need another piece of redstone conduit. Do that's, that's not what I clicked. Apparently it is, but it's not what I clicked. I meant to click. Can throw this down on here. Put it down on top. And now, if I was to take my chest plate, I think that's the one with the power in it. Put it into here. It will charge up as much as it has and it's now receiving its energy from here I'd imagine yeah so it's outputting that as fast as it can let's max that out don't believe that I can output biofuel energy into my network which is a bit annoying But oh, we have an animation on the front. That should charge up nicely. So we'll leave that to charge for a minute and we'll just tinker a bit more with the legs. We've got the sprint assist. Let's go for a hundred and fifty percent sprint then. Should be good. So some more servos allows me to ignore steps. It's quite cool. So 
So what else do I want? Hmm, there's quite a lot of things that I want. Eventually I'm going to want a jetpack, I think. That'd be quite cool. That would allow me to, uh, to explore a little bit quicker. Solar generator makes sense. Control circuits and solar panels. We'll see. We'll, we'll go with those in the future. We'll have some upgrades, etc. So 1.2 million is probably good enough for now. So that gives me everything that I want. So my ability to move in my heavy armor, which is maxed protection. Let's see how far I can fall. So that still hurt. But that wasn't as much hurt as I thought as it would have been. Let's go down here. So that's, yeah, I can hear the. Uh, <laughs> I can hear it <laughs> protecting me, which is quite cool. Ready? No, oh, better. Oh, I can't even climb up my own stairs anymore. So the moving, the movement is quite quick. That is much faster than um, I'm expecting it to be. So moving, movement is going to require a bit getting used to. I need to remove those those ladders. I also have some cows that I am protecting from slaughter. A pig that's managed to find its way on top of... Oh, that was a mistake to come down from there, Mr. Piggy. I have some cows in this special enclosure because in order to build something that I want to build in a short distance of time as far as the next couple of episodes is concerned, I need some pink slime. And the only way to get pink slime is to use a slaughterhouse to produce pink slime as a byproduct. So these, by, these guys are all designated for slaughtering rather than for magical essencing. But other than that, we're slowly but surely progressing nicely with this. Although, despite the fact that I keep two pigs and four cows, every now and again it seems to just keep adding more adults to the wrong place. And you. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed the episodes. I hope you've enjoyed. Now that I have power armor, I can feel much more protected about everything that I do. And uh, not really notice any downsides because I've got the right combination so far. And running around doesn't appear to be draining my uh, energy too much. So therefore I should be able to maintain it for quite a while. Not too much of a problem. So just sprinting around quite quick. I'm still not drained any power. So that's good. I picked the right combination of batteries, etc. so far then. Oh, this is uh, an experiment that I don't particularly want involved as far as recording is concerned. Because this is an automatic fissure. Which is just... Oh, crapping hell. I didn't think it was very effective because it doesn't have much speed but that's 40 odd fish it's quite quite a lot more fish than i was expecting um so maybe it is a bit more effective than i thought it was but basically it just does a lot of work slowly to collect fish anyway hope you enjoyed the episode sorry if it's a bit too long just because i had that glitch and then i obviously wanted to finish wanted to get myself to a point of power armor where i could now continue into the next episode happily hope you're enjoying and i'll see you in the next episode Bye for now, guys.